welcome to Precision Trading with Coin Market Cap. I'm still that guy, J Sharp. The markets, Bitcoin, is it gonna dance and whisper sweet nothings in her ear? Or is it gonna stomp all over our toes in a drunken stupor and dampen all our hopes and dreams? Well, let's get sharp with the markets and unveil the possibilities. Let's go to coin market cap and take a look at the daily Bitcoin chart. Last time we were here, we had some lines of resistance right here at that 50.4K. And we had some lines of support right down here at 46.5K. Also, we can't forget about this nice juicy support here at 43.8K. Now, just to rewind a little bit, we had prices break out. And we were hoping for prices to jump out come back retest that line of resistance making the line of support but what ended up happening is prices broke through that right past through our first line of support hitting that second line of support right here what we need bitcoin to do is to hold this line of support this 43 to about 44 k spot to spring off of that and continue up but what if prices don't hold and break through this line of support. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. No! I'm feeling and thinking the same thing, but just in case prices do break through, we have to be prepared. What kind of tool can we use? The Fibonacci tool is the weapon of choice to figure out what levels price could go to if the support doesn't hold. Let's grab that tool right here. We'll go to the very bottom of that line of support going all the way up to our last resistance here and as you can see if prices don't hold we have this 50 percent retracement level that prices go to and bounce off of if that doesn't hold that 62 retracement one of my favorites could be used as a line of support and as you can see we have some support here with price at 38.2 zooming on in let's take a look and see if we could use the fibonacci tool on a shorter time frame like the four hour or the one hour chart yeah let's grab that fibonacci tool and let's go to the bottom of this and into the top of our last resistance right here at the 47.4k level look at that we can see prices are dropping down to that 61 to 70 78 percent retracement line i'm just going to zoom in a little bit closer taking a look at that one hour chart if i had my day trading hat on Look at this, I'd be looking at this opportunity right here. We have one, two, three bars coming down. And as we talked about last time, bulls versus bears, usually after three to five battles won, the opposite takes over. In this case, I'd be looking for the bulls to take over. I'd buy just above this bar right here for an opportunity to take advantage of a day trade situation. You can use the Fibonacci retracement tool in all time frames. You can use it for long-term trades, swing trades, intermediate trades, day trades. If you're not too familiar with the Fibonacci retracement tool, let's dissect it a little and see how we can use it to get into trades, to get out of trades, or to take profits. Let's first talk about how we could have used it to get into a trade. Grab that Fibonacci tool, going straight here from the bottom all the way up to the top of resistance right here about 64,000 and change. Remember we talked about lines of support. We saw this line of support here around that 29.1K level. And look at this retracement. Price is pulling back to the, about the 62 retracement level. A lot of people like to use the 50 retracement level as a, as a means to get into a trade. Personally, I see a lot of trades coming back to a 62, 70, 8% retracement level. I get really excited when prices hit those levels. And as you can see, this would have built confidence with the combination of the lines of support and also the 62 retracement line as a means to get in to this nice weekly trade. Now let's talk about how we could use this to take profits. One of the things I talked about last week was I was a little concerned about these seven bars going straight up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven weeks going straight up. And I mentioned that there's usually, not usually, there's always a battle between bears and bulls. 
And anytime you have more than five bars, there's usually a nice reversal in the opposite direction. Now, if we use that Fibonacci tool, coming straight from the top, going back down to this line of support, we can see that prices lined up quite nicely with the 62 retracement level. Woo! So if you're thinking to yourself, where do I take profits? This would have been a good time to take some money off the table or to get out of a trade. This is entirely up to you. But notice how the combination of seven bars going straight up, hitting that 62 retracement line would have indicated the awareness sign. Like this is a good possibility that prices could reverse. Would have been taking profits there. Now, who am I to be talking about these markets? I know in the last episode, some people were curious about my background. Now, I've been trading for over 10 years. In many years, I was trading commodities. And if you don't know what commodities are, that's sugar, orange juice, lumber, treasury bonds. You know, like the movie Trading Places? If you haven't seen that, go check it out. I did move on from that to currency trading. But I think the most exciting market is the cryptocurrency market. A market that I think is going to change the world. So these are exciting times. Don't you think so? Now, I'm not here to ask anybody to trust me and I'm not here to give financial advice. But one thing I love to talk about is the possibilities of what could happen. If there's any tools here that speak to you, I recommend that you use them. They say that trading is both science and an art. Use your tools that you find to develop your art and to become a great trader or investor. Thank you so much for joining me here at CoinMarketCap in this episode of Precision Trading where we talked about the Fibonacci levels, <laughs> Manifica. And then once again, I challenge you to get as many people to understand this beautiful world of crypto. So let's get our friends and families to subscribe and join us here at CoinMarketCap. And if you have any questions about crypto, just ask Alex. The link is listed down below. Well, I'm out. Love, peace, and hair grease. Deuces.